According to Yucatan folklore, long, long ago, in the years before Cozumel had a Pizza Hut and a Hooters, women would travel there to ask the Mayan goddess, whose name was Ischel, to make them pregnant. It was the custom for every Mayan woman on the Yucatan coast to, at least once in her lifetime, row herself across the 13 miles of sea from Playa del Carmen in the years before it had a TGI Fridays and a Senior Frogs. And in Cozumel, they would lay small dolls at the feet of the stone idol of Ischel, the goddess of fertility and healing. She is also venerated at a shrine on Isla Mujeres. And today, Ischel is the name taken by a group of Mayan women near the small coastal town of Puerto Morelos between Cancun and Playa del Carmen for their unique and charming spa and marketplace. Sandra and Dan Dayton moved to this jungle outside the town decades ago, and Sandra was befriended by her Mayan neighbors, and she hit upon the idea of forming a cooperative project for bringing tourist dollars to the Mayan community. Ischel Jungle Spa and Jungle Market is a not-for-profit where Mayan women administer traditional massages to visitors and offer for sale hand-embroidered dresses and blouses and other crafts in addition to regional food. The spa offers the local women the opportunity to make an income. The massage tables are in modest buildings surrounded by palms and tropical vegetation under a thatched roof with the scent of copal incense and the sound of forest birds. The masseuses are from the small Mayan villages hereabouts and have learned the massage techniques from their parents and grandparents. They say massage is part of family life there. We learned of it from Apple Vacations and felt compelled to pay a visit. Um, our women learned to do massages when they were little girls. It was the only way to heal in their towns and villages. And so they learn from their parents and their grandparents. And it's uh, intuition, inner knowledge, inner wisdom. And they've been carrying that with them. They don't have a higher education and they go out and they can make only about six to eight dollars a day. And they have to support their families. It's, it's a big family now. And we probably support about a hundred family members. sick in the Mayan village, you got a massage. And through the massage, they'd find out what was wrong with you. Let's say you weren't feeling well, Don Chanita would get a hold of you. Have you lay down on the ground, and she'd sit there with her hands, MRI and a CAT scan hand, I call them. It's not from a textbook. It's inner knowing, wisdom, and knowledge. We're both ex-dancers and the first massage was the best massage I ever had. Uh, but we had a lot of built up knots through hard work and this second massage has made us as floppy as a jelly. You must come to the Jungle Spa, it's the best massage experience and it gives back to the community. Second time now in a week, uh, the reason I came back because uh, I needed a massage, this is a fantastic massage. Um, also, you're, you feel better about it, not just physically, but uh, in other ways too, because you're putting something back into the local community. Um, you can go to a lot of spas in other areas, uh, actually adjacent to your resorts, and they'll charge you quite a substantial sum of money, and uh, they'll keep that, but this actually goes to the people, and uh, that makes you feel good right inside here, as well as making your muscles and body feel good at the end of massage as well, and the massage is absolutely incredible. So, uh, yeah, Sandra's Jungle Spa, get here.